So for this customising one, I'm going to... I thought I'd actually already done this, but I couldn't find it when I'd done a search for it. Uh, not this one, the next one along. I was going to go through this one. This, um, I know it's the sort of car that a lot of people want to have. Um, I don't know about you, but when I tried doing this, I had several attempts and it actually looked terrible. Um, and it has actually taken me 50, all 50 vinyls to do it. And that, the problem is with this car, because it's got, I mean, finding the right orange I found was difficult. Uh, and the letters, the one's got like a little, you know, they're both the same, really, black and white, but they've got a surround of white on both of them, uh, and, there's, and the, the zero uh, is actually more of a square shape, but I just didn't have enough finals to do that, because the top, you've also got General Lee, uh, the name there, you've also got General Lee, the other side, and then you've also got this, uh, I think they've got a confederate flag, where you've got a star in the middle, three stars on each stripe. Uh, and I just found it was um, too many. Obviously you've got then got a different colour flag and a white surround. And obviously you've got a white edging outside of the blue stripes as well. So I, I found it was just too many vinyls to uh, doing the 50. Now you'd think that, I mean generally that's 10 letters isn't it? So both sides that's 20. And obviously I try and get things quite neat. So they are, you know, both of the uh, the name there starts at the front, bang in line with the line of the flag. And it's reasonably straight. Uh, so I've messed up a little bit. But anyway, so generally, you know, it's got, you know, that's 20 letters just on its own. So you'd think it wouldn't actually take many, but to get it, done quite well I thought it was quite difficult well, I was going to go I'm not going to really strip it down or anything I was going to show you what I did because uh, it will be easier so for I chose the paint first which was this metallic orange I tried various other paints and I don't think any of them work so well now that would that's what it looked like in uh, matte orange I mean, you know, your taste may well be, you might think that's better, so go with whatever you think, obviously. Uh, there's not a... Was there anything on that? You've got a tangerine there. That's not a bad colour either, I don't think. But I just thought for the General Lee, uh, obviously being a, you know, a cult car from... You know, a real, real popular. It's probably the most popular program, or certainly one of the most popular programs of its time, which made the car such an iconic um, car. But that to me seemed just—it's a good colour, but it's just too shiny for what the car is. You can take what you want from here, and then uh, obviously put your own twist on it. Some people may well want that the bottom part there to uh, add perhaps some dirt on the bottom and perhaps lose a couple of the um, letters there to maybe put a, a plain black uh, zero and one both sides and you would actually get six vinyls back for that obviously the other thing with this confederate flag is um, the blue stripes in here they are sort of pointed in each corner so that was another thing I wanted to get on. So it's one of the things, 50 vinyls is never, never seems to be enough to me. Anyway, so that was the paint I chose. So started it off. Uh, actually, this um, one, I'm going to get rid of that for a second. And I'll just, um, if you wanted some of the like, muddy looking stuff on the bottom, You've got these gradient things and pick uh, this one here. And you see that sort of will give you a bit of an effect of, you know, some dirt on the bottom. But you, and you'd have to play about with whichever colour you felt was best. Obviously some of the colours were uh, yeah, each to their own. 
what and you'll find if you use a different paint then a different colour might work better for you. So that sort of looks like it's got a bit of mud up beside that sort of thing. So you may well prefer that look, so just bear that in mind. Now I'm just gonna put this one back. Before I forget. Obviously make that a little bit smaller so it fits inside. Right, so we started off with Well, to start it off with there, I'm going to change the colour that to just so you can see. So that was uh, straight across the roof, is what I did there. And the next one, uh, obviously the first one was a square. This one is a stripe and it's mirrored. Uh, I went across the corners. As long as it covered off, most of it would be fine. So I'm going to blank the rest off. But that was the um, outline of the um, the blue cross. Obviously, then the blue cross was a little bit smaller. Uh, put that inside. Uh, next, I did a mirror of another stripe. Obviously, went across. Uh, halfway across the blue stripe so it then give you that, that sort of triangular effect obviously that's mirrored as well uh, this one was across the back uh, again so I'm then I'm still going to need to block off the bottom one there aren't I this one it didn't really matter whether you used that stripe or the plain stripe it doesn't really make any, any odds to be honest because again you're going to be blanking it off anyway so this is just getting the white edge around the red flag then obviously that was uh, just nearly up to the white just to give it an edge on there and obviously that's the um, same colour as the paint this likewise is the same thing just cutting off um, just the excess, just so you leave a little bit of white edging for the Confederate flag. This one was mirrored. I'll just change it to green for a sec. So that way you're getting obviously two sides just with one vinyl, which is what you've got to try and cut down as much as you can. Obviously, I then started with the jean, I've gone all the way through. Uh, and this one here. Uh, I start, actually started with the E because I wanted that to line up in the same place uh, at the front of the car as the other one. Uh, then the stars, these are also mirrored. If I change that to black, you can see. So those two are then mirrored. Obviously, if you've got your um, stripes, uh, you know, straight on the middle of the roof then these are all going to work out quite well next one uh, I did those so they're obviously just near closer together that one was the other end these again following the same sort of pattern if you like then the middle ones obviously I could put the ends on first and then uh, the ones nearer the centre so I can get a good uh, distance for the one in the middle that was the reason behind that obviously then you've got one which is not mirrored obviously in the middle uh, to finish off well so obviously that's the last one there with the uh, middle ones you can't see um, the right hand side because of the, the the little button where you move the size of the vinyl is covering the other black one. Now for the numbers itself now I've angled the first one uh, and these are not mirrored because O1 on one side would go out obviously 10 on the other side if you mirror them. Now to get the effect of the um, zero with uh, the black in the middle of it you've actually got to have two on each side so that's the first zero uh, 
it's not a good example actually. I moved that out of the way, it doesn't actually matter. Right, so that one's a left and one the other left one. Right, which is that one. Let me get a better idea now. Right, so that first one now is angled down. The second one is in the middle. And you can't see because of the other black one. But anyway, so if you didn't have that, I'll just put, change that to yellow. And I'll show you what that does. Having that a smaller reduced one in the middle gives you an outline on the inside of the the black zero. If you didn't have that, if I change that to that car, then it actually look like that. Might not make any difference to you whatsoever. Uh, but to me, I wanted it to have a white edge both outside and inside, and you can't do it, do it um, by reducing the the black zero. Uh, it just just gets smaller. So you, you just don't see the inside um, edge unless you put a second one on. So anyway, that was that one. So I did them two there. Obviously the same for that one. And then uh, the O goes, or zero, goes left, right. Uh, and then this one, uh, you need a bigger white one than the, the black one afterwards. And now I've angled downwards to give it a thicker uh, a thicker line because if I used um, say an I out of the alphabet that line would be I was going to say wonky but it's definitely a skew it's not a straight line so and if I use a shape uh, the line is actually far too fat so the, what I did was I used a um, another stripe and angled it down which then makes that stripe thicker uh, without being too fat. If I use, if I did that as a stripe that would be way too fat and I might have to maybe cut that off with another vinyl which I haven't obviously got. So again with the the black ones over the top uh, inside the white one again just so you've got the edge and then finished off with a bit smaller uh, black one uh, that way so that's how I've used all the 50 vinyls up um, I say you can there's probably quite a few of these about I would think uh, I'd really like the zeros to be more of the like original shape but I just haven't got the vinyls to do it um, but so you, you know we've all got our own preferences uh, I wanted the flag and the name definitely and something like the right colour uh, but you know your idea might be that you want uh, say some mud looking stuff on the side and then uh, you're not fussed about the inside or outside of the zero so you'd have more vinyls to do that but uh, anyway I hope that's useful uh, I'd say there's a lot of these about uh, and they're really nice to see so Show me what you've got if you like. It's a shame really you can't comment your own cars on the videos, but you could um, you could email me them, and I'll put them together and put them uh, together on a, as a video if you want. Uh, my email is on you know, it's on every description of my uh, every video I've got on there anyway, so it's, it's not hard to find. If you want to send me that, that'd be great. Uh, anyway, best of luck. Uh, see you on that one soon. Cheers.